Hey guys, as we have started the free online coaching classes for the NET examination and this will be the lecture 1. And the topic for this lecture is the hypsography of the continents and oceanic floor. Okay, and uh, you may be thinking that this heading will not come un under geology. Actually, this heading comes under the oceanography. And obviously, if the question is asked in the NET examination, there is no any restriction for you to attend this question that you can simply attend this question there is no any problem and uh, for the geology portion what I am planning is there are I am making videos for the geology portion in the jam exam syllabus and that also can be used for the net coaching and so what we are trying to do is we will work on other topics first as you have geology background as you did your BSc and MSc and there will be questions from other headings also which you can attend and get marks and reading other topic will give you confidence in the phase in the examination. I hope this will certainly help you in clearing the net exam. And you can check my lecture 1 in jam classes and there are a few questions from that portion in the net examination previous year questions. And these are the questions that have been asked that you can check. In December 2017 they are asking, <coughs> they are asked for the matching of the landforms and uh, plate boundaries. In 2018 they are asked for the plate margin and type of volcanism I like that there are plenty of questions and uh, almost every year there is a question this is a few which I come across and uh, if you are interested in the net classes just try this question and answer it in the comment section so that I may know that these many tools are interested so I will do much videos quite faster and for today's video you can see we are in part B that is also in the ocean atmospheric portion and the topic is hypsography of continent and oceanic floor. Actually the hypsography is the measure of land elevation from the mean sea level. The same thing is called as the bathymetry when you are measuring from the mean sea level uh, towards down deep. The hypsometric curve is a histogram or a cumulative distribution function of a elevation of a geographical area. So this is an overall hypsography of the global globe and you can see that almost 70.8% of the land is covered by the ocean and the average depth of the ocean is 3729 meters and 29.2 uh, is covered by the land surface and the average height is 840 meters. Uh, you can see the mountain, Mount Everest is the topmost which is of 8850 meters and the Mariana Trench is the deepest which is of 11022 meters, okay. So from this idea you can get an idea that the topmost elevated region is, will come under the mountain and the bottommost are, will be the trenches. And this is the overall distribution of land pattern in this, you can just find out which is uh, prominent landform, right. And the heading is the continental margin, actually the continental margin, actually the submarine edge of the continental crust distinguished from the relatively light and isolated high floating material in compared with the adjacent oceanic crust. So when there is the end of a continent, all of a sudden there will not be ocean, right? So there will be a stage wise change from continent towards the ocean. And such a portion is called the continental margin. And that encompasses the continental shelf followed by the continental slope, then the continental rise. These are the three portion which is uh, transition zone from the continent towards the ocean. Okay. And this portion is uh, almost 28% of the total oceanic area. If you consider the ocean as 100%, almost 28% is covered by this continental margin. And the continental shelf, that is the first thing that you come across when you leave a continent towards the ocean. Uh, that is submerged under an area of relatively shallow water known as the shelf sea. That is called, uh, so this portion of the sea is called the continental shelf sea or simply called as shelf sea. And much of these shelves have been exposed during the geological glacial periods. When the glaciation takes place, definitely the water will move towards the poles and become as glaciers so the mean sea level may drop and this continental shelf will be appearing on the surface okay and the continental shelf has an inclination of approximately 0.1 degree it is followed by the continental slope with the average 
inclination of 3 degrees followed by the continental rise which have a gentle between uh, continental shelf and slope at a rate of 0 0.5 to 1 degree inclination and this continental rise is formed due to the accumulation of pile of sediments at the base of the slope that extends far from 500 km from the slope okay and this sediments is driven due to the turbidity current okay the continental margin with all the above mentioned future will come under a passive margin as there is no any tectonic activity this is called as the passive margin and without any disturbance the complete profile is formed that is the continental shelf then slope then the rise so this is the complete profile it is formed if this profile is not formed due to the tectonic disturbance like there is a fault in here so what happens this portion may submerge or move up so that leads to uh, incomplete formation of this continental shelf slope and rise so such a margin is called as the active margin so this is the generalized idea about the continental margin and when we move to india what happens in india the eastern margin that is the bay of bengal side is called as the passive margin whereas the western margin that is the arabian sea side is considered as the active margin let me give you some of the examples to prove this concept as in the east you can see there is a complete formation of profile there is a continental shelf followed by rise and uh, sorry continental shelf followed by continental slope then rise so as it is it is formed and not only that you can also see submarine cation which is a peculiar feature to show this has a very long history because a submarine canyon may form when there is a glaciation and a river runs that lead, that crosses the continental shelf and runs on the continental slope and forms a u-shaped deep valley and such a thing is called as a submarine canyon and there are n number of submarine canyons in our bay of bengal side of the continental slope when you see the western side what happens there is an incomplete formation of the self not only that there are falls that you can see in the bombay high there is a fault followed by there are volcanisms which shows that it's active margin that is a tecton tecton trap and also there is a shiva crater in the arabian sea which still have a controversy whether it is a volcanic origin or a meteoric origin so these are the few interpretations and they say that the eastern margin is a passive margin and the western is an active margin i hope you got the overall idea about the continental margin and we will do further headings on the forthcoming videos as few of you are interested in joining the whatsapp group if you are interested just mail me your name college or university name and the class city etc all such a thing to my email id after getting a minimum number of students i will start the whatsapp group and i have grouped my videos according to the category in my playlist that you can check you can also connect with us my mail facebook and instagram and these are the links you can also support us by like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a great day